Okay. So I'm going to wait for people to come in. Got some folks coming in. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Come on in. I see people getting into our session today. So we're going to give you guys a few minutes to get in queue here and settle in at your desks. All right, lots of people I know, new names. This is great. Okay, we're getting there. Okay, looks like we're just about there with everybody in the uh, webinar today. Got a few more coming in. Okay, looks like we're just about there with the majority of people showing up today. Okay, well, thank you everybody for showing up. I am Joey Spooner. I'm the Vice President for Community Development and Product Management here at Combine University. And today I'm lucky enough to have two amazing people that I work with uh, here from Mobius Group. Uh, the first person is Anna Radza Kalska. She's Hello. our uh, hey Anna. Uh, so she's our Chief Innovation Integration Officer here at Kanban uh, University, as well as at the Mobius Group. And she's responsible for a lot of great things, including Kanban Plus, which we'll be talking about today. We also have uh, Diana Darajana, uh, the product marketing manager for Kanban Plus. And the two of them are gonna share a lot about what Kanban Plus is, how to use it, how to get some benefits out of it. And I think we're even gonna talk a little bit about assessment today, is that right? I believe we are. So here we go. I'm gonna hand the keys over to Diana and Anna to get us going. And if you guys have any questions, don't forget to pop them into the Q&A section of our uh, webinar today. And we'll definitely try to answer those near the end of the session. All right, Diana. Hi, everyone. I will proceed. Uh, it's Diana Diryajna. <laughs> Joy, Thank but you. it's not easy surname. <laughs> I do understand no, that. No. My apologies. Um, I knew that would be hard. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Uh, so let me start uh, with explaining what is actually Kanban Plus. Uh, I believe that majority of our guests today know uh, our Kanban Plus tool that is already with us for probably more than three years. And uh, this tool um, is a supporting tool for the Kanban method knowledge and Kanban maturity model uh, concept uh, that we have launched together with the book. And um, Kanban Plus had all the content of Kanban maturity model book and much more posters, additional materials, unreleased content and videos. Since the time it was launched, we have received a lot of feedback, feedback about how useful the tool is and um, a lot of ideas from our clients what else uh, we could add and we could offer uh, for them so this tool is handy and useful uh, to support uh, coaches consultants and trainers uh, with their kanban method implementations so the time for change has come and um, recently we have launched kanban plus kanban plus uh, has all the content of uh, the former kanban plus together with uh, Fit for Purpose plus content and also the new content, which is Better with Kanban uh, Plus. Better with Kanban Plus uh, will be and is already based on the new series of uh, Better with Kanban books by David Anderson. And then uh, there you can already find the first book of the series, which is Discovering Kanban Book by David. And also additional supporting content, supporting materials, to this piece of knowledge as posters, articles, case studies, and videos. But our ultimate goal is to make Kanban Plus uh, one source of truth when it comes to Kanban method knowledge. Uh, and we also want to provide um, uh, for you the tools that you can only find uh, there, such as a fit for purpose questionnaire or a Kanban appraisal. These are the tools uh, we really are looking forward to starting working on and that we want to deliver for you as soon as it is possible. So uh, what are the advantages of uh, Kanban Plus? Well, first of all, as uh, Kanban trainers or coaches or consult consultants, you need the latest materials and uh, you need to know where to find the things that were recently launched, uh, that uh, were introduced by David Anderson or Kanban University, or maybe uh, Kanban community contributors. So Kanban Plus is the place to go to look for the latest information. 
uh, also, how would you find about uh, the updates um, that happened to, for example, Canon uh, practices uh, or then maybe materials that were updated recently? It's also Kanban Plus where you can find it. And if you're going to follow our newsletters or social media, you will always find uh, out about the materials that were updated or launched. And also we do urge you to subscribe to our newsletter because we don't send them often and they are mainly about content updates or important information or new launched materials. As well, um, Kanban Plus is the fullest library uh, of the materials, additional content that we have that support our knowledge. And if you ever need something like infographics or posters, or you want to explore some content or remind yourself about some piece of knowledge, this is a place to go to and look for information and uh, refresh your knowledge with its help. And also one of the biggest advantages of Kanban Plus that all the big amount of heavy knowledge, like heavy books, like uh, this one or KMM, which has more than 500 pages and tons of uh, diagrams, uh, is available for you online from any part of the world, uh, from any device. Uh, so, for example, if you want to um, remind yourself about something or prepare for the meeting or check out uh, some things that you could forget about, you can access Kanban Plus from any part of the world at any time uh, from any device, uh, whether from mobile phone or your laptop, and get access to all this library of information and um, refresh your knowledge, uh, check it out, download materials, and be ready for the meeting with your client or before the class. Um, so that's why the question is, uh, what is different between Kanban Plus and Kanban Plus? Well, I would say that this question is rather incorrect because uh, it's more like uh, Kanban Plus actually becomes Kanban Plus. Uh, because um, already right now, Kanban Plus has all the content of the current Kanban Plus and even at some parts, maybe even more, but also has uh, a separate uh, fit for purpose uh, plus as a separate product and also better with Kanban plus content. We also tried to improve its functionality. We made it more user friendly um, and we also um, made it more uh, usable for you. And we are also working on more improvements that will be coming soon. And again, the tools that uh, we want to provide you with the help of this platform. Given that, let me probably share my screen again and show you Kanban Plus from inside. Um, I will also give you some tips on uh, how you can use it. So it, uh, it is handy for you when you will get to use it yourself. Give me a second. Uh, do you see my screen correctly? Yes. Great. Yes, we do. So this is the main screen that you're going to see when you um, create your account and launch Kanban Plus. You can navigate around the products from here already. Uh, clicking on the logo is going to bring you back to the same page. Or you can use the left sidebar to move around the products that I uh, mentioned already today. Let's start with Better with Kanban Plus. You will see that each page has a left side menu this menu actually uh, displays the content of this current page. In this case, in posters view, you will see the list of the posters that is available on this page. However, if you're going to change uh, to the poster, uh, it will show you uh, the sections that are available for this poster. And you can navigate around the sections. Users of uh, Canon Plus will notice a big difference that right now, actually the text is on the same page uh, as the poster, uh, which will simplify uh, your exploration of the poster. You will not need to go to a separate page to see the text. It's all there on the same page for you. So you can explore it fast and easy um, the way you want. Um, let me show you a, a bit about the navigation here. First of all, you can navigate around if you use a mouse and on your desk desktop, you can enlarge and resize it with just a scroll on your mouse. Also, you can use uh, pluses and minus button here. 
Uh, if you want to reset and see the full screen, you use the third button with the arrow. If you want to see all the blocks, use the fourth button and it's going to highlight you all the blocks on this poster. If you want to see the poster full screen, use the last button and you will see it full screen. You can also browse here, enlarge, see it. And if you want to close it, just click the exit button on the right. Also, you will see uh, the arrows, arrows here. You can navigate blocks one after another using these arrows or again, this menu. What is handy? Let me show you one trick that you can use later on. All the space is adjustable for your needs. For example, if you want to see a poster in a bigger, bigger size, just hide the text like this and you can come back to it later because it's always there for you. Uh, and the same with the menu. So you can adjust it and make the layout as comfortable for you as possible. Another trick. Don't be tricked uh, with the second purple button. I have it because I also have access to administrating the content. But everyone has uh, a top button with a purple pen. And if you're going to click here, uh, you will be able to change the scale of the page or, which is very handy for people who will read a book uh, page after page, to change uh, the size of the text. You can also switch on and off the animation. Um, every product will have a poster view and also book chapters. As I mentioned previously, for Better with Kanban Plus, it will be Better with Kanban uh, Plus books uh, available here. And um, with the left side menu, you can navigate around the chapters and read them one by one. In case of downloads, uh, you will be able to download any poster that you want, uh, easy, just with one click, as always. <laughs> Uh, but also pay attention that we have a um, sub-menu available here for you. It helps you to sort materials in different types so you can easily find exactly what you need. You can find here right now infographics, templates, brochures, um, and uh, again, posters, the same as you will find in poster view and sometimes even much more. Uh, in case of videos, we have also prepared a library of videos for you available in each product. And again, pay attention to uh, these sub-menus because uh, the videos are also grouped for your convenience. Uh, you can uh, navigate around and find what you need and what you're interested in. Articles. This is a new tab that we have recently introduced. We will fill it in with materials that are not a part of the book, but are also useful and handy for each piece of knowledge. We will also refill it with um, uh, contributors' content from our Kanban community. Uh, so more and more materials will be added here to this tab in future. And obviously the case studies. Uh, here, for example, in Better with Kanban Plus, you will find a different type of case studies, like BVK case studies, which are the part of the book, Kanban University case studies, the ones that are studies in, studied in Kanban University courses, and also our contributors case studies, which again will be filled in with more and more content. In case of um, Kanban Plus, you can also find here modules tab. These modules will walk you through all the content of Kanban Maturity Model with the help of 12 modules, or oh, sorry, 13 modules. Each of the module has a description of the module, also uh, the chapters that are connected to this part, to this piece of knowledge, and also the videos uh, where David Anderson himself explains the concepts uh, of this um, part of uh, the knowledge. And also stay tuned for our news because um, we are working on professional subscriptions uh, and soon we want to also introduce some other professional subscriptions in um, available for you on uh, Kanban Plus. Okay, let me stop here and uh, proceed with the slides of our presentation. Okay. We also encourage you to explore Kanban Plus on your own. And um, in case of upgrade right now, we have special offers 
which are our special bundles. Um, we do urge you to benefit from them because they are time limited. Uh, you can buy them right now and they will be available uh, for purchase till the 1st of May. And they offer you a really good prices for a year uh, of the subscription, uh, either paying monthly or paying annually. And you can explore them already now if you go to kanban.plus. Uh, so this is probably it from my side. Um, I will pass uh, the stage to Anya Radzikowska and she will walk you through our second part of the webinar, very interesting and special. Anya, do you want me to move another slide or you want to share uh, the yes, screen? Please. Thank you. Oh, okay. Uh, yes, so here I would like to give a small hint of what you can do using uh, Kanban Plus and specifically Kanban Plus uh, in this particular case. So sometimes, not, not sometimes, very often people ask us, okay, so I have access to the content, I can read it, that's great, but what can I do about it? How can I actually use it? So uh, we mostly teach this stuff in the classes. So if you join any of our classes, we are using Kanban Plus a lot. Uh, during our exercises, it's always, you know, good sort of reference and uh, where you can actually find what you are uh, learning about and, and find uh, some specific reference to what you are uh, looking for. And, you know, um, this is what my, uh, my professors told me when I was studying, that when you have a handbook, you don't need to have it in your head, you should have it close to your hand so you can actually open and use it. So don't even try to remember what we have in KMM, what we have in Fit for Purpose or BVK. Uh, that's why we created uh, Kanban Plus for you, so we can always open it and check what's there if you don't remember. And uh, today I would like to show you one of the exercises that we are doing in the Kanban Maturity Model class um, and how we are actually using KMM Plus to do this exercise. So um, this is... a small, short introduction to the whole concept of Kanban Maturity Model Appraisal. So it's not like super deep appraisal where you're actually doing an official assessment of your organization. This is sort of like introductory exercise where you can learn more about the KMM and where you can learn how to, how to use a Kanban Maturity Model. And also it will help you to quickly identify some areas for improvement. So those of you who are trainers in our um, in our webinar, you probably know this exercise pretty well. Maybe you already did it by yourself, the same as consultants or coaches. Uh, for those of you who are new here, I hope that you will find it interesting. Uh, so Diana, I will share my screen now. <clears throat> All right. So I hope that you can see, um, actually this is mural right now. Is that right? Can you see more? Okay, cool. So I prepared this exercise here in Mural uh, and I will take you uh, step by step through it. So before we actually started and uh, we had these discussions with Diana, should we do it like the online version or maybe more paper-based version? Uh, we're thinking, okay, let's give people instructions. So you print out the you print out the poster, you put it on the wall. And, but then we realized actually that maybe we also should give instruction how to do it online. So that's why I have it in Mural right now. Uh, I bet that you are all using uh, the whiteboards, mural, mirror, or whatever you use. It will work everywhere. So what do you need to start with? So when you want to um, see where you are today, you would like to discuss some um, areas for improvement with your teams, with your uh, business unit, maybe just with your colleagues when you are sitting in retrospective. Uh, you can use this exercise and you can then keep uh, doing it um, um, iteratively. So uh, what you need to prepare? So we'll be talking about the online version of this exercise. So we need to prepare your whiteboard, uh, which is handy, convenient for you. And then you need to also prepare the practice map. So practice map is this poster here. I think one of the most famous posters that we have. And you can download this poster from Kanban Plus. So you go to Kanban Plus, you go to download, and this poster is available here. So you just click download and it's there for you. So you take this poster, you put it in your whiteboard, and you also need to prepare two more things. So the first one are dots with traffic lights colors, so uh, green, yellow, and red, and copy them a few times, and then some other decorator. <clears throat> so here I'm using stars. Uh, you can use whatever decorator you like. How we are going to use this, um, 
these decorators and these uh, colors. So these traffic lights will be using for um, practices appraisal. So uh, the green one you will use for those practices uh, which you observed as fully implemented at your organization. Yellow one for practices partially implemented and red ones for the practices which are not implemented. And then the other decorator, so in this case star, used for labeling observed cultural values. So when you have it prepared and you are having uh, your team around you and you are, you are ready to start the discussion, you go to the practice map and you start doing your initial appraisal. So um, I usually start doing it with the cultural values. So we look for the values and the values are here in the first column, you can see them here. And they are divided by maturity levels. So values at maturity level 0, 1, uh, 2, and so on and so forth. So you are taking a look at the value. If you don't know what this value is about, this is where you go back to content class, payment class. You go to the posters view, and you go to the practice map poster. And when you click on this one, you can see actually the value of achievement is the first one. But if you are anywhere else, you just click on the value of achievement and you can see the description of this value here. Each of the values also in the description has the part where you can um, read about the evidence of the value. So for example, here, um, there may be little public display or recognition for achievement. Personal content board may be hidden in the privacy or of a cubicle or an office. It, it, it needs not to be public display. But then you are you will be looking for uh, the evidence for the value of achievement. So, for example, if people have this personal content boards, uh, if they are talking about what they have done, actually, when you have any kind of visualization with column done uh, on your visualization, this is already some evidence for the value of achievement. So we are looking for this evidence. You have this discussion with your colleagues, and then when you are doing this assessment, you just take this uh, star and you place it next to the values which you observe that are actually present in your organization. So first you look for evidence, you discuss this evidence with your colleagues, and then if you see that this value actually is there, that you see evidence for this value, then you move the star next to the value. Then when you do the value assessment, uh, you go to the practices. And practices, we have a bit more of them. So there are 34 values, but 154 practices. So my advice is just don't be afraid of that. Don't be scared to just start from the top, okay? And step by step, you don't need to do everything at once. So start with maturity level zero. Uh, look what practices you have here. For example, the first one, visualize person's work by means of individual Kanban board. So look around, talk to the people, uh, listen whether they have their individual Kanban boards, whether they use them or maybe not, or, Maybe you see that in your organization, actually people don't use personal Kanban boards, but actually they already have team Kanban boards. So you can see this practice here, visualize the work carried out by the team uh, by means of a team Kanban board. So in such a situation, maybe they simply don't need personal boards. They have team Kanban boards and everyone works on this team Kanban board and there is no other work happening elsewhere. So when you observe that the practice is in place, uh, that people are actually using this practice and you observe the outcome of this practice. So in this case, the work is visualized. You can track the progress of work. You can see the blockers. You can see mm, that there are some waiting items. You can have discussion about uh, this work and what can be pulled uh, next and what cannot. This is where you can decide, okay, this practice is actually fully implemented. So we take this green dot and we place it but you may have a situation, for example, oopsie, sorry, let me lock it here. Okay, it doesn't like me today, never mind. Uh, you may have a situation that there is a practice which is partially implemented. So, what does it mean that the practice is partially implemented? Uh, in most of the cases, the practice is there, but there are no outcomes of this practice. So, my favorite example comes from one of the sessions, like a personal sessions I had with one of the clients. And we've been just going through these practices and they said, oh, we conduct workflow, workflow replenishment meeting. And they said, okay, that's great. 
But can you tell me more about it? Because from the previous discussion, we really didn't feel that they should have this work for a punishment meeting. It felt more like much of the one organization. So we started talking about it and making long story short, they installed the work for a punishment meeting, but actually that was it, yeah? So they were meeting every week. They spent one hour in work for a punishment meeting, but there was no outcome of this, uh, of this meeting. They didn't make any decision on what to pull next. They didn't know what to do. So they were just meeting every week, not knowing what they are actually doing and why. So on one hand, we cannot say that this practice is not implemented because it's there, they are keeping this meeting, even though this is sort of like zombie practice. Uh, but uh, yeah, but this is zombie practice. So we cannot say that this is fully implemented. So in such a case, we would pull this would we'll take this yellow dot here and we'll move it next to this practice, indicating that this practice was actually partially implemented. And uh, you do this with ideally all of the practices, but if at some point you start seeing that maybe at much table three, maybe four, all of these practices are red, so not implemented, not implemented, not implemented. Probably this is the place where you can stop doing further assessment and rather focus on what you already know. Uh, so now my uh, moral messed around a bit, so let me clean it. And now a uh, couple of tips and, and tricks and uh, how to do. So when you do the, when you move all of the dots and you think, okay, we are done already, uh, zoom out. So basically, do what I've just done. So you, you are zooming in on the practices when you do a parcel, but then you zoom out and you don't read the details anymore. You try to look at your appraisal from sort of like helicopter view. And to show you what I mean, I prepared two real life examples from our classes where our students do this kind of appraisals. Uh, so for example, this one, when you, zoom out, you can see that there is like a spread of a lot of red dots here on this poster. And there are also a couple of green and yellow dots here at the lower maturity levels, which is level one, uh, zero and level one. And when we look at maturity level two, we start seeing that actually practices are not really implemented. Also, there are no values. There is no evidence for the, for the cultural values that this person actually observed. So this is where you can see where is the area for improvement. When you see that at the lower maturity levels, like zero, one, maybe the level two transition, you don't observe too many values implemented, uh, too many practices implemented. When you see that there are not that many values held and you cannot find evidence for that, just don't focus on the higher maturity practice. Because when you start doing it, it will be overreaching and those practices probably won't stick. So when you see that there is a, a gap here, that you can find the real value in these practices at lower maturity levels, just focus here, focus your attention, focus your effort here at lower maturity levels instead of going deeper. The other example looks a bit different. Here we can see that uh, the practices are implemented at lower maturity levels. Uh, we can see that also culturally, uh, this, um, this organization is much stronger um, at level zero, one, two. Most of these uh, values uh, are held and we can see evidence for these values. Uh, this is where you can actually start using what you have already. So for example, here we have that most of the value, those evidence found for most of the values, practices are sort of like half half implemented. Uh, but now we can use this strong base that we have in this organization, this cultural base, to start implementing these values, uh, these practices here. Um, important stuff. Okay, so I want it to be recorded because this is right now a very important thing. What I'm showing to you right now, this is just an exercise. This is not a formal appraisal. Uh, this is only for you to start playing with Kanban maturity model, to learn it a bit more, to feel a bit more familiar with the practices, how they evolve at different maturity levels, and where you can actually find for information, where you can search for information, where you can, you don't need to guess 
okay? If you have practice which says visualize work item aging, you don't need to try to guess what it means. You can just click on it and read about it. What it means, what are the implementation guidelines? Everything is here, okay? So don't try to guess, just read. You don't need to remember. So this is the first thing. So this exercise is for you to familiarize yourself with this stuff and to learn how to quickly find information. And if you want to learn how to, if you want to learn the techniques, how to do the formal appraisal, how to do the full appraisal, uh, what are the um, dangerous loopholes which you can find on your way when doing this stuff. Uh, if you want to know how to design the evolutionary change using uh, this practice map and the whole Kanban maturity model, then I really invite you to join the class. This is where our trainers are teaching it or just read the Kanban maturity model book. Also, all of the information is there. So you can you can do it yourself. Yeah, you, the, the training is not required. However, I really encourage you to, to take this class because then you have also a chance to uh, discuss with your uh, with your peers, with other people doing the same things. Um, all right, so that's it from me. Thank you very much. Great, thank you so much, Anna and uh, Diana. Uh, there was a quick couple of questions that came out here that I think may be best answered by one of you. Uh, the first one was, is Kanban Plus a concept or a method like Kanban, or is it a tool? Well, Kanban so Plus is definitely a tool. <laughs> Kanban Plus is actually the tools that we have just shown you. Uh, and uh, this tool will be supporting all the Kanban method knowledge, and we hope that it can actually become uh, really a right hand tool, uh, one source of truth, a place to go uh, to find the information about the Kanban method. And we do plan to gather as much as possible Kanban method content and studies and materials uh, about Kanban method, Kanban method model and fit for purpose there just for you. Uh, so this is a place to go to when you're looking for anything regarding Kanban method. Got it. Got it. Okay, great. And then uh, there was one other question, and someone's raised their hand, so I'll definitely call on them in a second here. Uh, the second question comes from Greg. He says, will there ever be a physical hard copy version or only this ebook version in book format of the Better uh, with Kanban books series? Anya, would you like to take this one? Uh, I think you are better to take this one because you actually have the, the book. <laughs> okay, so I can talk and Diana will show you. So yes, we have a hard copy. Actually, usually hard copy, um, like for all of these books, hard copy came first. So you have hard copy of payment, it for purpose, uh, better with Kan uh, discovering Kanban, which is the first in the series of better with Kanban, there will be four books. Uh, so yes, yes, we have hard copies and you can buy them already. So you can just go to kanbanbooks.com. Uh, Joey or Diana, if you could find the link and drop it in the chat, that probably would be helpful. Yeah. So you can go to Kanban books and just order these books for yourself. Uh, but one important information here, actually, and uh, I, I will use this question to, to talk about it. So it was the case for KMM, and it also will be the case for the Kanban class, that um, when we have this kind of tool, which is uh, like sub, which is online, and we can actually manage the the content by ourselves. Uh, it is uh, very easy for us to allow you for accessing the new material. So actually, having access to Kanban Plus, you don't need to wait for a new stuff to be uh, printed out in the form of the hard copy, uh, because it really takes time to publish the book. So whenever new content is available, uh, we usually upload this content previously to Kanban Plus, now to Kanban Plus. This content is labeled as beta version. So you know that this is not yet sort of final version of the book. This is beta. This beta version is available to our subscribers. Uh, so this is also from us to you. You, you are the first ones to have the access to it. And also, uh, this is beta version because actually we are looking for feedback from you. So before this book will be published, before this will, there will be hard copy and actually making any changes won't be that easy anymore. Uh, this is where you can share with us your feedback. This is where you can try this new concept, uh, where you can see how they are working for you and just tell us if it's working or not. So this is one more reason to actually subscribe because you will be the first ones to have the access to everything that is new before the book is published. Great, thanks for that answer. 
So I'm gonna I'm gonna try and unmute David Hughes who has his hand raised and see what David wants to say here. So David, I'm gonna unmute you. Feel free to ask your question. All right, let's see if this works. Can you hear us, David? Maybe not. Okay. All right, so David, if you can, feel free to speak up. In the meantime, we are gonna move on to another question. It might be uh, some other thing going on with this technology. So, uh, oh, he's connecting his audio. There we are, okay. Joey, David, right, David. Here. Yes, we can hear you, hello. Yeah. Yeah, the situation for me is uh, I wanted to apologize because I'm uh, on a separate phone line for audio and also pickup. It's not going to work too well. No worries. Yeah, no problem. We can hear you just fine. Go right ahead. <laughs> uh, what was your question, Joey? Uh, you had your hand raised, David. So I thought you had something you wanted to ask about or a question that you wanted to, to bring up to us. Or am I confused? And you actually pressed your hand by accident. Uh, my hand was not raised intentionally. I am happy to be here. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hello, David. Good to hear you. David. All right, great. Well, then, David, if that's okay, I'm going to mute you for now. We're going to hop over to the next question just so that we can uh, carry on. But glad you're here. Uh, glad you're listening in on this. And we look forward to your feedback. Okay. Uh, Joey, maybe I will pick it up because I have just responded uh, to Chris and the question disappeared from opened. Um, yeah. However, I would actually like to raise this question as well for other people who um, probably can have the same question. Uh, so Chris was asking that he already have uh, his Kanban Plus uh, subscription and also now Kanban Plus. And um, uh, he wanted to apply his Kanban Plus remaining credit uh, to his Kanban Plus subscription. So, uh, well, my advice to Chris was to contact our support team because our support team uh, will be uh, as a guiding uh, uh, separate special cases. Uh, but for all our current uh, Common Plus subscribers, uh, we are right now working on migrating your subscriptions uh, to uh, Kanban Plus, and soon you will receive uh, the guidance on how it's going to work. And also we were working on something super special for our current subscribers because we really value our loyal subscribers uh, and we uh, want uh, them to stay with us and we want to provide them with special conditions. Uh, so the communication will be issued uh, very, very soon. Uh, with the guidance. Uh, however, if uh, there are any questions right now or um, uh, any changes should be applied right now, maybe uh, someone needs the access to some kind of uh, materials straight away, they can always reach to our support team at customers at kanban.plus and uh, they will guide and uh, explain everything. Uh, but um, again, if you're just going to wait for just a bit, you will already yeah. soon receive some special guidance about how to move your subscriptions. And believe me, it was very, very special conditions. Yeah, and by very, very soon, we really mean the matter of days, not weeks. So uh, stay, stay tuned. Uh, however, for our uh, new people who are not our current paid subscribers, we do encourage to explore our bundles uh, because these bundles are also uh, with very special prices and they have limited time. So if you have no subscription to Can to Kanban Plus right now, uh, you can create a free account on uh, Kanban Plus, explore it and uh, do benefit from our bundles now uh, to get uh, uh, a year of experience with really very good conditions that we offer right now, currently, due to the launch of the new Kanban Plus. Right. All right. We have one question that might be more of an Anna type question, which is, uh, is there going to be a mobile friendly version of the uh, Kanban Plus website at some point? Uh, so right now we are working on like mobile versions of uh, all the pages. And the mobile application is in our uh, backlog, but you know, or sorry, full of ideas. Uh, but our pool of ideas is pretty, pretty huge. So um, right now we are focusing more on the tools. So actually, I didn't mention that I should. Uh, the the stuff that I was showing to you, the appraisal, 
um, this is a very like manual way of doing it. And uh, our next thing to develop actually is the appraisal tool, which will be available in Kanban Plus. So you don't need to do it in whiteboard, you don't need to do it in Excel. Uh, you will have a, you will have this tool available. Mm. So it will it will come soon. And uh, so then when we have these tools, we'll be able to um, build the mobile application. So yes, it will come, but no commitment yet. However, I believe right now it's adjustable. So if you will yeah. log into uh, Kanban Plus, uh, uh, I mean inside uh, the platform, mm -hmm. you will be able to navigate around the content uh, already. Okay, great. Uh, and there was another question raised by Greg. I think he just left a second ago, but he asked, is there a community where mm -hmm. one can raise questions, find out about companies where Kanban Plus has been implemented? Is there an answer for that one? I know would you like <laughs> this one? <laughs> uh, actually, the, the, the best community I'm being part of is led by Kanban University. Probably Joey has more to say here. Um, yeah. So uh, we have some Slack communities for KMM and Fiscal Purpose students. Um, so this is a place to, to join. And then, um, but at Kanban Plus, there is no community yet. Yeah, I, we do have a Slack community that's informally set up for trainers as well as consultants and, and some people who might be interested in diving in a little bit more with the Kanban method. Uh, but probably one of the best ways you can interact with the experts, including Anna and Diana, is actually at this event right here in my background, which is the Kanban <laughs> Leadership Retreat. So um, this is a great event coming up in May. And uh, if you're in Europe, it's a great location. It'll be in uh, Portugal, Hatskech, Portugal. So uh, about three or four days where you can deep dive with everybody who does Kanban and learn about the case applications, learn about where the challenges are and what to do, and also kind of how to explore a little bit more about Kanban Plus as well as the Kanban method. Now, we also have something coming up later this year, probably in the U.S., probably in the Southeast. That's a similar event. So if you're U.S.-based and you want to wait a little bit longer, there's another great location coming up for you. Stay tuned. Sign up to our newsletter. You'll probably find out what that is in the near future here. Uh, but it's going to be beachy, I believe, is probably the best way to describe it. Beautiful sun, I hope. Uh, but again, sign up at the uh, Kanban.University's website for their newsletter, and you'll get notified of that. Uh, okay. Let's see here. We have an yeah, anonymous the question. question we'll... the, the next question is actually, sorry, sorry. The next question is pretty easy, so I will quickly answer it. Will Kanban Plus, uh, will be Kanban Plus replacing Kanban Plus in the future? Yes. So we are right now in the transition period, so we still have these two platforms running. Uh, but we are not updating Cayman Plus anymore. So all new updates, all new stuff is in Kanban Plus already. And right now we are we migrated for users. Right now we are migrating subscribers and we'll be also migrating um, corporate um, clients. So uh, Cayman Plus will be closed when it's all done. Yes. All right. So there we are. Thank you, Anna. Okay. So that's got it all. I think those are all our questions. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, Anna and Diana, for being here today and giving much. us an overview. Yeah, this has been great. It's really fun to see what Kanban Plus is becoming, where it's going. Uh, again, if folks want to be involved, stay in touch with them or stay in touch with our university here. And we're going to be happy to see where this goes in the next uh, mm -hmm. quarter or two as you guys build out the platform. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and also, and sorry. also, I would really like to encourage you to, to contact us, to drop us an email with feedback, with your wish, uh, what you would like to see. Yeah. Also, if you have questions that we didn't answer here or something just pops up and comes to your mind, just write us an email. We are real people there, me, Diana, and also two other colleagues of us, Anya and Nastia, uh, we are answering your emails. Uh, so just, just let us know and we'll be in touch and to, we'll be able to help you with anything that you bring to us. So thank you very much for being with us and thanks a lot for your time. Yes, and we encourage you to explore the new Kanban Plus, uh, as Anya said, to provide your feedback because we do <laughs> value all the feedbacks. It helps us to make it better. And also, Kanban Plus itself is a result of your feedbacks uh, because we have received uh, the comments, of what we can do, what we can offer, how we can improve. Uh, so we do really pay attention to, to the feedback <laughs> and comments. Please share them with us. Um, and uh, don't forget that uh, uh, you can already create uh, your free account on uh, Kanban Plus. If you had before, your account on Kanban Plus, you can use the same credentials to enter your uh, Kanban Plus uh, account um, on, on the new platform. 
Uh, and also for the paid subscribers, the instructions of moving the subscription are gonna be sent soon. Uh, corporate uh, users will also receive separate instructions in the nearest future because we're in a process of transition. And uh, if you were not paid subscriber to Kaiman Plus before, uh, you can use our special bundles already uh, to upgrade uh, your subscription on the new Kanban Plus uh, because um, they uh, will be available till the 1st of May. Uh, and if you have any, any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us, to our support team, and we will be there for you with our responses. All right, great. Thank you both. All right, we'll have a great day, everybody who joined the call. We hope you uh, get a chance to explore Kanban Plus. And uh, again, we are listening. So feel free to reach out to us. We'll definitely want to respond to your feedback. And Any Joe, one last question about standard <laughs> subscriptions. I'm sorry, I just see the question popping up. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And professional uh, subscriptions. Uh, this is another thing that uh, uh, just wait for a bit and we are preparing something special here as well. Okay. Again. <laughs> So for the anonymous question, there is something in the works for uh, better pricing. So hang tight, uh, reach out to Diana or Anna, like you saw earlier, go to the Kanban uh, Plus website and and watch, right? It'll be out there hopefully soon on, uh, on in terms of pricing. And stay tuned. Okay. Uh, we are uh, telling about everything in our LinkedIn and newsletters. Mm -hmm. If you need something straight away right now, contact our support team. Yeah, okay. great. Thank you. All right. Thank, Thank you, everybody. You. Have a great day. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.